So we've created a layout handler that helps us draw directly to the canvas. And if we look at the activity animation 002 layout handler, it implements runnable and it's a thread and it has its own run method, which means we have to integrate our layout handler into the activity lifecycle of our animation activity 002. And we're going to target the on resume and on pause methods. So if we open up animation activity 002, I've already overridden the on pause and the on resume methods. And we know that our layout class is a thread and we're going to access its own pause and resume methods. So we're going to take a look at the animation 002 layout view and access its pause method. And we're going to do the same for the resume method. Now don't panic, these are red in color because they've not been implemented yet and that's what we're going to do now. So if we go into the activity animation 002 layout file we can implement the methods here. So let's start integrating our layout handler with the activity lifecycle. When we first enter this class we're going to want to know about its thread state and we're going to track it by using a thread object and initially we're going to set that to null. We're also going to want to know if it's safe to draw and we can track that by using a boolean and I'm going to call that can draw and initially I'm going to set that to false. The run method is where we're going to do most of our drawings and it should be obvious at this point that if can draw is true we're going to carry out some drawing. But I'm not going to do any drawing in this tutorial. We'll do that in the next one. Let's take a look at the resume method. It's slightly easier than the pause method. The first thing you're going to want to do when you resume this class, you're going to want to say that can draw is equal to true. And the resume method is called when you're creating this class. So it will definitely be set to true as you enter this uh, class. You'll also want to start the new thread. And we're going to reference this class because this is the class that's implementing the runnable. And this will point to this run method whenever this class is uh, started. And then finally, on the resume, we're going to want to start the method, the thread. Now, pausing is a little bit trickier. When you want to stop a thread, it's best to do it neatly. And there's a, uh, in the documentation, there's a member function called join. And that blocks the current thread until it's finished executing. So we're, we're going to use that. So let's tap in thread dot join. Ah. Android Studio is warning us that we need to surround it with a try and catch. When the on pause method is called, this pause member method would be called and the thread will be asked to stop neatly. And if it doesn't, it will catch the exception and print a stack trace to let us know what's going on. But uh, oh yeah, so just before you're going to want to set can draw to false. What if an exception is thrown? That means that this hasn't successfully run. And there are many reasons I think that uh, a thread may not close neatly. To harden your code, you might want to ask it to attempt it until it does close neatly. And you can do that by surrounding it with a, a while true loop. Let's move that code in. And after all the closing has been completed, you'll want to set the thread to null. Oh, what's Android Studio complaining about? Un OK, so it's an unreachable statement. What we want to do is, within this loop, we want to try this thread 
joining. And if it completes well, it will move on to the next line and uh, we'll just break out of the while loop. And suddenly this thread equals null is now reachable. Great. Uh, if it doesn't break out, well, if it doesn't join successfully, it won't execute the break command. It will throw this exception and then it will run the loop again until it closes that thread. And that's it. That's how you integrate the layout handler with the activity lifecycle. And if we go back into our animation activity class, the pause and the resume methods are no longer read. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to fill, we're going to start drawing and I'm going to fill this with some drawing commands. That's it. Thanks for watching.